We're gonna start off with a little story time today. Last weekend, I was out in nature camping with my dogs and some friends, and we were about to go on a hike. A couple of our friends had just left for the hike, and as we were about to leave, some people approached us needing help to start their car. I was really anxious to leave, excited to go on our hike, and didn't want to keep our friends waiting and didn't know if we'd get left behind. Do we help the stranger and leave our friends waiting? Or do we tell the stranger we can't help and make sure we get to our friends on time and don't get left behind? Knowing what to do and doing the right thing can be really hard. Welcome to this week's Friday Challenge. We decided to help them get their car started, even though it meant keeping our friends waiting. It felt good to help someone in need and I was also feeling anxious about leaving our friends waiting and not knowing if we'd be left behind. Sometimes doing the right thing means sacrificing something else instead. I share this story with you because today we're talking about responsibility and self-awareness. As we grow in self-awareness, we start to learn more about ourselves, why we feel what we feel and why we do what we do. This is what helps us be empowered to do the right thing in every situation. Let's get into a challenge that will help us dig into our emotions a little bit more. Take a few minutes right now to think about something that happened this past week where you needed to decide whether or not to do the right thing. If you're having trouble, let me help you. Maybe it was a time when you needed to do a chore that you know is your responsibility and you didn't really want to. Or someone came up and asked for your help with something. Ask yourself these questions. How did it feel deciding what to do? What emotions did you notice afterwards? I want you to write down five emotions that you felt. Being able to identify our emotions and what we feel helps us not only learn about ourselves, it helps us know how to do the right thing next time. Thank you for joining me in this week's Friday Challenge. I hope you feel motivated and encouraged to keep growing with us. If you like what we do here at Pure Game, one of the best ways you can support us is by liking and sharing this video with your friends on social media. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel using the button directly below this video on YouTube, and you can donate at our website, www.thepuregame.org. As always, remember, you are loved and cared for, you matter. And with that, we'll see you right back here in two weeks.